Autobots, roll out! Hello and welcome to That's Just Prime and today we're going to be taking a look at the Fans Project G3 trailer for Classics Optimus Prime and I love this toy. Yep, I finally went and did it. You know I recently picked up the Evolution 2 pack that contains the repaint of Evasion Mode Prime and then it's got a more G1 looking paint job for uh, Classics Optimus Prime here. So that was all the excuse that I needed to just go out and finally pick up this trailer. This is a trailer that I originally skipped out on and uh, that's uh, just picking up another Classics Prime was all the reason I needed to pick up another trailer for him and I have been really really glad that I've got it because I'm really loving what this trailer does. Released originally in 2009 this trailer is still available online at some retailers and it will retail uh, an average at about $100 or so. So it's it's a little bit of a higher price trailer. It's a great piece. Um, the, the trailer itself measures approximately 11 inches long. It's about 5 inches tall and about 3 inches wide. And um, that's actually one thing that I originally wasn't very... Uh, uh, I didn't really love it with with this trailer was the size of it because although the trailer is a very very good size and it actually fits your classics figures really really well in my opinion having been a, tr a trucker in the army and having been around trucks uh, quite a bit in my opinion this trailer doesn't scale well with this um, Optimus Prime in truck mode when you look at it in truck mode this trailer looks like a little big you know you've got the wind vane deflecting all the wind and then all the wind's just going to be hitting right here it's going to be causing a lot of drag so the trailer does seem to be just a little bit too big for the vehicle mode but that is the one possibly the one and only gripe at all minor gripe that i would have with this trailer other than that this trailer is great so there's a there's a lot of stuff that this guy does so um let's let's see let's get started here first thing i'm going to do i'm going to pop uh, optimus off for just a second I want to show you the bottom side here because we've got this uh, the stand right down here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the stand, and that'll help us uh, hitch the trailer up. And the very first thing I want to show you guys is there's an extra hitch to this guy, so I'm going to take the bumper in the back here. I'm going to flip this up. And once again, if you look down here to the bottom, these guys move over. This There's a whole piece right here. This guy, you can unclip this and swing this all the way out, and, and we can probably just flip those back down, and heck, we can even just go ahead and... Uh, fold that up because we can plug it in the prime again so you can you can see the wheels on the bottom side here so what this guy is going to do is these wheels are going to flip up just like so on each side and then bringing it back around to the top side here we'll adjust the camera over here to this side uh, there's a little flap over here that's gonna pop up so what's gonna happen here is uh, let me go ahead and get prime hitched back up again so if you're not aware, this guy's got this third hitch, and the reason for this third hitch is so that it can work on other fan project trailers. So if you have, for example, I have here the City Commander trailer, and it's the only version of this trailer that I have. Um, it's really kind of meant for like the Power Commander trailer or the VIA Commander trailer, which were repaints of the City Commander trailer that were specifically made for Optimus. I don't have any of those, but the idea here is that you would have a, an entire powered convoy, kind of like the G1 Power Master Optimus Prime with a God Bomber trailer would have been. So what you're going to do here is that there's a hitch, there's a little peg right here on the back of this hitch, and that's going to go into the um, slot that's on the, on the um, City Commander trailer that's intended to peg in with the vehicle itself. So you're just going to go ahead and slot that right in there. Let me see if I can... It's kind of difficult to see through the camera. I'm, I'm going to have to just go around it. So there you go. It just slots in right in there. And then, uh, let me see if I can get that in camera. That flap that came up actually just covers up that hole that's left in there. This hole here is meant to go over the truck. So that covers up that hole. So that, that covers that up nicely. And what you're left with here is this really cool... I'm going to back the camera up. This really cool truck and trailer convoy here. You've got a double trailer right there. And that is just so, so cool. Let me try and get the whole thing in camera there. Check that out. That is super cool. I can barely get on camera the whole thing. I absolutely love that feature about this trailer. The next feature I want to show you guys on this trailer is quite possibly the selling point on this trailer. Besides, I mean, don't get me wrong. There's all everything this trailer does, it does right. It, it's so, so cool. Every single feature 
on this trailer, but this one feature that I'm about to show you, for a lot of people, is quite possibly the selling point for this. As a matter of fact, I had uh, my buddy Vendela. Vendela, he's one of the uh, my featured channels, so go check him out. Um, he was over at my place yesterday for Thanksgiving, and I showed him what this trailer, what, what I'm about to show you guys, and uh, he said he got goosebumps when I showed it to him. So it's quite, it's it's one of the coolest things I have ever seen. On a toy trailer, or whatever, I don't care, whatever. This is just so ingenious and so creative. So, if you're familiar with the G1 cartoon, you guys know that every time Optimus Prime transformed in the robot mode, the trailer would just disappear. And it's one of those things, if you grew up in the 80s like I did, it's one of those things everybody always wondered where did the trailer go? Well, G3 fans, the good people at Fans Project and the G3 trailer came up with a solution. This guy has a stealth mode and it's so, so cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unhitch Prime and let me go ahead and take this moment to show you the hitch right here. There you go, it's just a round peg there. It fits perfectly over the square or rather um, a round slot that fits over the square peg on the back of Optimus Prime. So even though it's a square peg going into a round hole, he can actually turn. No problem. So I wanted to show you that real quick. So let's set Optimus aside for the moment. Let's bring down the uh, the legs. I think I already had them down. So what this trailer is going to do, it's, it's, it's got a stealth mode. Now let me see if I can get in here without opening him up. A lot of times you just kind of have to open it to get in here. And that looks like it's going to be the, the case here. So let me just uh, crack him open just a little bit so I can get in here. And what you want to do is you want to get these two center panels lifted up. Right there and right there, and then just close the trailer back up again. So what's going to happen here is these guys are going to fold all the way out, and then you're going to pull on this, and this whole panel is going to come down and tuck up under the trailer, just like that. Same thing on the other side, just tuck that under, and then these two panels on the, there's four panels on the top there, two on each side or two for each half. So go ahead and pop those, and you'll see these guys coming up and over. Now one thing about this is this is a fingerprint mat neck so I am trying to be very careful not to touch those uh, those reflective surfaces. You can see what's going on here though. So there we go. There is the stealth mode and let me try something here. Let me just put this over to the corner right over here and pick up the camera just a bit. And there you go, you get the idea right there. The, uh, the, basically what you've got is you just opened up a bunch of mirrored panels on this trailer. And when you stand them in, uh, you know, in my case I have this plain background right here. When you stand, when you, when you set them up on something like that, it, it, it kind of creates the illusion that it's become invisible or it's become camouflaged. It, and it's, it's a stealth mode. And that's a super, super cool idea. That's your, you know, that's a good, story to tell about whatever happened to Optimus Prime's trailer anytime he transforms into robot mode. Well, the trailer goes into stealth mode. It's 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 still there. It's always been there. You just can't see it. And I think that is just the coolest thing that they could have ever come up with for that. It's just a little stealth mode. So, of course, you know, camera angles play a part there. As you can see right now, as I'm resetting everything up, you can see my hands there. So, it just well, everything folds right back up again the way it was. It is a fingerprint magnet. Um, I've been pretty good about not touching it with my fingers up until right about now when I tried to show it with, through, with a camera. So, you know, uh, be prepared to wipe it often <laughs> anytime you play with it because uh, you're going to get fingerprints on it. But it's still, it's such a cool feature. It is so, so cool that it can do that. So next thing, let's go ahead and get the trailer opened up so you guys can see uh, everything that's inside. Now, it does have, you saw these these uh, panels earlier that I folded up and you got the little extra legs right there so there's one on each side and that's nice because that's going to help the uh, the sides there uh, it's going to help support the sides of the trailer when you open the trailer up uh, another thing that I, I absolutely love about this trailer is that it's got the proper opening doors so these guys actually do open in halves and to the sides you got to kind of get your finger in there but you you do have actual proper opening doors for the side of the trailer. I love that. Um, not a big thing, really, when you only have the, uh, like the G1 trailer, only have the, the platform that folded down. I mean, it's, it's kind of a minor thing, but if you're in the trucks like I am, uh, something like this is, is really, really cool. And it's nice to see that they put that much attention to detail into this. And then, of course, you still have that ramp that folds down and extends. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, one more thing real quick. Uh, if you remember, I showed you the hitch where uh, Optimus Prime was hitched up to, uh, to the trailer. Well, if you reach around the bottom here and pull on that hitch, there goes roller shooting right out. So, I'll show you real quick, there's roller right there for you. Roller does a couple of cool things, we'll get to him later. But yeah, that's pretty cool because you can actually still have the trailer hooked up to Prime, and if you just kind of pull them away from each other and you have the ramp open, you can shoot roller right out. So that's pretty cool. So other than that, uh, what you're about to see here, nothing really new. Uh, the trailer's gonna open in half, just like Prime trailers tend to do. You just take them and split them in half right there, and everything comes down, just like so. So here we have the inside of Prime of the G3 trailer, and as you can see, it's your typical interior of a Prime trailer. It's very well done, very reminiscent to the original trailer. Now, something that's very cool is that these are included with the trailer. You're going to see on the sides here, we've got these uh, these weapons that are mounted on the side here, and these actually all come with the trailer. They're on their little trees. Now, I haven't cut them out of the trees yet. Um, and I'm probably not going to, at least until I get my classic uh, Autobots back inside, back in the room here. So, it comes with five additional weapons. Um, obviously, over here you can see the uh, Sword for Grimlock. That looks like the missile launcher for uh, Mirage. Um, over here, I think this might be the shoulder launcher for, um, for Hound. One of these guns is for Bumblebee, probably the little one. There's another gun over here. I'm not sure who that is. But, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be for those characters. It could be for anybody else. So th these are just classic Autobots weapons, and these come included with the trailer. So, so cool. And then uh, while we're talking about uh, weapon storage, you've got this uh, this peg or this uh, slot right up here. So this works well for the wind vane. Uh, one, about, one thing about the Classics Prime is that I, I was never really a big fan of the wind vane sitting on the back of the, uh, of the robot. I always kind of wish I had somewhere to put it. Well, with the G3 trailer, now I do. I can just put the wind vane right there it plugs in right there perfect it's not going anywhere as you can see it's just pegged in and then over here on the other side you've got this other slot and this other slot works really really well for the gun so once you take the uh, smokestacks and you turn them into the gun this guy can actually peg in right there let me see if i can do it from behind the camera without looking like a complete <laughs> dummy there you go so that slots in right there as you can see and it holds the weapon in place just well so just perfect so this brings in the idea of exactly what was the function what was the whole purpose of prime's trailer at least in g1 and i, and I absolutely love the idea that prime's trailer served as a weapons case or a weapons carrier for all the autobots the autobots get the battle they need to get their weapons prime's got a trailer full of them just go grab one and run and then at the same time the trailer would stealth mode itself and you couldn't see it i absolutely love that idea and putting that all together with the trailers for prime so that's really cool so here's a here's roller once again and uh, one thing i wanted to show you about roller is uh that he does work as a um as a weapons carry so when you transform the wind vane like so you take the um just the peg right there and you can see the peg hole on the back right there so you can just peg him in right there and there you go, you've got yourself a roller that's all armed up and ready to go, or maybe take the weapon to Prime while he's in that way. Here, here you go, there's another weapon for you, whatever. So that's pretty cool. I, I, I really like that. And then another thing um, that tra that um, roller can do, now I don't have this set. There's another set that comes, it's like a little Energon set, and it's got like these little suitcase or, or Energon cases or something like that that you're supposed to be able to carry around with roller. Uh, so what you, I don't have those sets, but what you're supposed to do here is you take this peg and fold it back. And then you take, you can extend roller right there. And then these sides are going to open up right there. And what would happen here is that you can actually slot those Energon cases right in there. And roller could carry those around. So, like I said, I don't have those cases, unfortunately. I'm going to have to hunt those down now. Because uh, what other, what, what better excuse to buy a toy than, hey, I just bought this toy and I need to buy this other toy to go with it, right? Just kind of like the way I bought this trailer. So, let me show you once again how roller works. So if you if you just get them up the ramp here, you can see that right under the drone. I absolutely love this because with the original trailer, as you remember, roller would just sit up here. The drone was all covered up and roller would always just sit there and then you could launch them from there. And that's all cool and all, but it did take up some of the room in the trailer. So what G3 trailer here does is it actually has a bit of a garage, I'd say, for roller under the repair drone. And I really love that. And so and that's also where the 
launching feature is going to be. So roller actually goes all the way in and you can push him all the way back until you hear him click. He's got a little stopper right there that comes out so you can stand this up and roller's not going anywhere as you can see. So that's really, really nice. So and as I told, I sh as I told you before, right there is the hitch. And you can see I'm holding this thing upside down. I'm moving it all over the place. Roller's not going anywhere. So there's the hitch right there. So this guy, you're actually going to pull this forward towards where the truck would be. Or in the, uh, well, make me look like a liar by coming out, won't you? <laughs> so, um, or if, you know, if you have the... Um, if you if you have the truck hooked up, you would be able to just pull on the truck and um, and launch roller. So I'm just gonna do it with my hand right now. There you go. And one more time, just for fun, why don't we do it with the trailer with the truck actually? Because I don't think I've done it with the truck yet. So what better opportunity than right now to do it with the truck? So let's get the truck hitched up right in here. Come on. All right. So I got the truck. I got, I got the uh, the landing gears actually lifted up. And I've got the truck hitched up, and I'm going to hold the trailer. I'm going to pull on the truck, and there you go. Um, it seemed like it didn't launch with as much force as it did when I was doing it by hand. Let's try that one more time. There you go. That was a good launch. So there you go. There's the, uh, there's the launching gimmick for, uh, for roller, <laughs> and I think it works super, super well. Where's my hitch, or my landing gear, rather? Let's get this guy stood back up again. So there, there it is. There's the, uh, there's the launching gimmick for roller. So the next thing I want to show you here is the gun station. Now, normally this back here, this is, you, you guys know this is gonna usually going to be the repair drone. This guy transforms into the repair drone. He's got his arms and whatnot. But before we do that, he actually also transforms into a gun station, which is really, really cool. What you're going to want to do is just hold him, just hold him right here by the arms and pull him straight up. And then back a little bit at an angle, and you see the cannons there that come out, and the automatic cannons just roll back right out. So, so cool. And then you've got the base here. This is going to flip out and over like that, and it's going to become a shield. And you can bring the gun up a little bit on, the, on an, a bit of an angle there if you want. So there you go. Now you've got yourself a gun station, and uh, he can rotate a little bit. I want to show you the back of him. Real quick, you can see there's a little, uh, like a little bit of a sight there. You, you can look through. He's got these handles right here. So what you can do with this is you can bring your prime and stand them right behind this, uh, this cannon or this gun station right here. And these pegs are going to fit right into his fist. And there you go. Now you've got prime manning his gun station from his trailer. So, so cool. Such a cool little feature. I absolutely love that. So there it is. There's your gun station there. Let's get prime out of the way. And uh, to put the station away, you can just flip this back down and then push him back forward again. There you go. There's your gun station. Now, going into the repair drone, the repair drone works pretty much the same way as the gun station did. You're just going to lift them straight up on the one piece of the arm, and that's it. You guys probably noticed that the arm has uh, two joints, one on the bottom and one up here. So if you try to elevate them past this joint on the top here, that's the one that's going to activate the gun. So you want to keep them just on that first joint on that bottom uh base of that arm right there and um then from here from here forward you can see the little arms right here these guys can clip out or unclip from the side of the arm there and these guys can just come straight out like so now these are on universal joints so you can actually rotate these and they've got a pin also with a little bit of a ratchet so they can move up and down all over the place and then the arms down here these are on a ball joint so these guys can go all over the place and also these uh little claws or on the front here these are also articulated so you can actually open these as well so yeah pretty cool there you go there's there's your repair drone so you can have them you, you can take them all the way forward just like this and uh, work on some auto some damaged autobots or you can have them off to the sides uh, grabbing parts or weapons or whatever so very nice range of motion very nice range of articulation with this repair drone really really cool i love i love what they've done here with this trailer so, and then the last, the very last thing that we're going to do with the trailer is stand it up. As you're probably familiar, uh, a lot of times you get a um, Optimus Prime trailer. This is something they didn't do a whole lot here in the States, but they did this a lot in Japan. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these panels here and we're going to fold them all forward, just like so. We're going to take the bumper. The bumper is going to fold forward and that's going to create a bit of a heel, you know, just to support for the trailer. So you can go ahead and stand your trailer up. There you go. Let's see if we can do that over here. Yeah, that's better. So let's just set them up over here. And there you go. There is the standing weapons platform 
for Optimus Prime. And once again, you can take the uh, the um, repair drone here and you can get him out and have him ready to work on any Autobots that might need any repairs. You can bring Optimus Prime here. He can stand right there. He can get his weapons or he can stand here and get repaired. You can also bring in, bring in Roller right there. You can actually store Roller up in the uh, inside his little garage here if you're not using him. You can actually store him up in there once he clicks in, he's not going anywhere. So you can uh, you you can also um, take the uh, gun emplacement if you want, and and you can deploy that if you want. I I usually just kind of keep the uh, the repair drone with his arms up and at the ready. You can't really see that. I kind of keep him like that. And uh, and yeah, I just I just really like the way that scales with um, with Classics Prime. And if you have the 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 powered commander or the IDA trailer uh, armor or the city commander armor. You can stand this guy in here as well, and you can see he uh, he fits in there quite well. He's, he scales very well with the trailer. And there you go. There's one last shot at the Fast Project trailer with uh, Optimus Prime, Classics Optimus Prime, and uh, Classics Ultra Magnus with the City Commander trailer, just you, so you can see how everything scales together. So, yeah, guys, um, like I said, I skipped out on this trailer for quite a while um, because I, really, I just really like the BTS trailer for my Classics Prime, and I just... Really, that was the one that I liked the best. Um, so I held off on buying this for, A, for the scale and truck mode and because of the price, because it was a higher price point. But once I got my hands on a second Classics Prime that needed a trailer, that was the perfect excuse for me to go ahead and get the G3 trailer. And I am so glad that I did. I have been absolutely loving every single feature that this trailer has it is so much fun like i said it's a little bit of a higher priced item so you know you may have to save your pennies for this one maybe ask for for christmas or for a gift for a birthday or something like that you know it's a little bit of a higher priced item but it is so worth it it is such a cool piece to add to your collection so i think that about covers the fan project g3 trailer Please leave me a comment, give me some thumbs up, subscribe and share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time on That's Just Prime.